Hey, what's going on YouTube? Grunt Streams back again with another video. Today we're going to be jumping back into third generation Fire Sticks. These came out the end of September, the beginning of October. So you got the third generation that directly replaced that second gen Fire Stick. And then you got the new one, the Fire TV Stick Lite. And the main difference that these Fire Sticks, from these Fire Sticks and the 4K courses, these are 1080 and these are running Android 9, which the 4K Fire Stick is running Android 7. So with Android 9, you can expand the storage very easily. All you gotta do is purchase one of these OTG cables you can get off of Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below and you can pick one up from Amazon. It, the one that I got is a pack of two. so. If you guys end up getting two fire sticks, you can expand the storage on two of those. So you got your fire stick, your third gen, or your third gen light, and you got your OTG cable. So all you're gonna do, you see that spot right there, you're gonna plug in this end right here to your fire stick. And then you got this other this other end where you're going to plug in the cable from your wall outlet. So you're going to plug it in from your wall outlet right here to power your fire stick. And then you got that USB port and that's where you're going to plug in your, your USB. You can have any size you want. And um, you're gonna have to format it so of course make sure you don't have anything important on that fire stick or transfer it to your computer to a different storage device so you can clear up that space so let's get started let's jump onto our fire stick and check it out all right guys so we're here on our fire stick our third generation fire stick we're gonna go over to settings i'm gonna go over to my fire tv about i'm gonna go over to storage We're going to plug this in right now and you're going to see what pops up. So we plugged in our USB, limited device access. So we're going to click on learn more, our options button. Limited device access. So your USB drive is using a file system that is incompatible with Amazon Fire TV Stick Lite apps. To use this drive for apps, it must be formatted. So of course we're going to format this USB device. Make sure you do not have anything important. Make sure you transfer that to some other storage device. If not, it's going to get erased. So let's click on yes. All content on this USB drive will be erased. Click yes. All right, formatting complete. Your USB drive has been formatted. You can now use this USB drive to transfer data to your Amazon Fire TV Lite. So click on OK. And there you go. You got 30.07 gigabytes available. All right. So now we're going to go over to our applications. So manage applications. All right, everyone. So just keep in mind that not all applications are going to give you the option to move to USB storage, especially the ones that are uh, pre-installed on the Fire Stick. Even some of the third-party applications that you've sideloaded might not give you the option to move over to um, to the USB storage. You might have to uninstall it and then reinstall it. The file length, you can probably, it says it gives you the option to move to the USB drive. All right, so we uninstalled BTV. And go ahead and reinstall it using file length. All right, and as you can see, I moved file length over to external storage or to the USB, and now it's not working properly. So, some applications, even though it gives you the option to move over to the USB storage. It's not meant to be on external storage. 
and it's just not going to work properly. So let's move it back to internal storage. We're going to launch the application once again. And there we go. Now it's working properly. As you can see, like I said, some applications are not meant to be on USB storage. They're meant to be on internal storage. So let's go find BTV. Dismiss these pop-ups here. Let's reinstall that. Make sure you turn on and you enable install from unknown app uh, sources. You can do that for all your applications just in case you need to update it. Just turn them all on. So let's click on install. All right, so now the app is installed. Let's click on done and back out of here. Let's go back to settings and let's go back to BTV. And as you can see, it is, it has that little USB symbol to the right of it. So now that is on the USB storage. So sometimes those side loaded applications, if you had, if you had them already installed, you'll have to uninstall it and reinstall it so it can install on your external storage which is that USB. So Cinema HD, the same thing. You would need to uninstall it, go back to file links, reinstall it so you can put it on that USB device. If you have something like Smarters or TV Mate, same thing. You're going to have to, uh, most of them, you'll probably need to keep it on internal storage. And then if you're going to record something, now that you have more storage to record TV shows or whatever, you can point that to record to your USB drive. And I will probably show that in a separate video, but this one's just to kind of show you how to work in this device. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this video. I appreciate everyone's support. If you guys are looking to invest in these third generation Fire Sticks, I'll leave a link to those devices in the description below. As of today, they are still on Black Friday sale, so take advantage of those. I don't know how long it's going to last, but if you're watching this video today, make sure you go ahead and go to Amazon. You can also go to Best Buy or Target and purchase the third generation Fire Sticks that are on sale right now. The Lite is $17.99 and the third gen is $27.99. So take advantage of these sales. I'll also leave a link in the description for that OTG cable. It is a two pack, the one that I purchased. So I'll leave a link for this cable. That way, if you do pick up two, two uh, Fire Stick devices, you can use those two cables and expand your storage. So that's all I got for today. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.